Well, we seem to be missing some important people, but uh, let me sort of take a take a minute to go over uh, where we are on other things, just because we've got it the time. Um, most of the, I believe now all of the RCs have been updated to 368. Uh, so they're, they're merged up to the 367 that was the last release. Um, the Mac 106 cohort, uh, which is still on the list here has actually been closed because we believe all the important bugs were fixed. So that's gone, and people are back uh, that were in it are now back in the mainstream again. Um, the Google Breakpad cohort is better than it was, but we still can't explain all of the numbers we're getting from it. So we're still working on that, and that will, as I said, probably keep getting uh, a certain amount of churn over the next few weeks. Um, it's getting better and better. It's already much better than the version that's in release, but um, we'd really rather be more sure that we understand what's going on with it. Um, so uh, to, be just because some of the statistics coming from it are, are significantly at variance with, with the rest of the cohorts. So we're trying to make sure that that's real and, well, figure out which one is wrong, basically. Um, uh, there's a snowstorm cohort still um, with the request teleport feature and a couple of others. Um, we will be getting, let me bring up my other display here. Uh, um, and and we have at least a couple of others coming along with some server-side releases. Um, we're in the process of rolling the AIS, uh, the adv advanced, the inventory service um, V3 interface onto some regions on uh, Aditi, uh, literally even as, I, as we speak here, now there the, that role is going on on a, on a few select regions um i will as soon as that's done and and i have a complete list of what those regions are i'll send that out on the uh on the ais on the tpv announce list um so we can start testing uh on those um sunshine external uh, I spoke to those guys yesterday, and um, they have one or two serious issues that they want to solve before they before they put that out there. But they're closing in on that, so I would expect that it would not be unreasonable to say that it's probably going to be next week. But you know how it is when you when you have a problem you haven't actually solved yet. Uh, it's uh, it remains to be seen, um, but that's coming soon. Um, so uh, let's see what else is in the queue here. Uh, there's another maintenance viewer coming with another collection of bug fixes. Uh, and the HTTP viewer is also coming. It turns out that that got um, snarled up in uh, a bunch of rebuilds of some of the dependencies. Um, so a bunch of the third-party libraries are going to get updated in the course of doing that one. Um, and some problems with that corrected in the process, which is all nice, but is slowing down actually getting the viewer out the door. Um, and of course, there's the interesting viewer, which the project interesting viewer with the interest list changes that we were supposed to talk about today, but I seem to have failed to get the requisite people here. 
were they informed that they were supposed to be here? Yeah, but they weren't reminded, you know, yesterday or today. So, you know how it goes sometimes. Uh, I'm pinging them in all the channels I have available to do that with. So the server-side appearance to in AIS, was that necessary to work on that so secretly? Uh, I have no idea. I, I'm just saying because it, it's obviously a lot of code, um, and it seems to touch a lot of files and is going to yet again set us back uh, somewhat. And um, I think it might have been easier, possibly, if it had been worked on publicly. Obviously, nobody can release that until it's finished. Um, but, well, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I mean... I'm not. I'm not going to get into whether it would have been. I, I, you know, I don't get to. I don't get to make that choice. So, I'm not going to. I'm not going to make any representations about about whether it would have been positive or negative or or whatever. Um, the. I'm not actually sure it would have helped you all that much with the with the merge problem. Um, because uh, the merge problem is primarily, uh, I suspect, a result of the fact that they did major refactoring. And it it is not true that there were a lot of points in that process in which there was a functional viewer you could have merged and and, and done the merge in stages. Right. I mean, what they did was take, and and this happened with Chewy as well. The other recent example of a of a of a big merge with lots of refactoring that that has caused you problems, and uh, and, and I'm sympathetic to that. that. But it's not right. clear that in fact there were intermediate steps that you could have that you could have taken advantage of. I'd just like to point out that my previous experience with uh, merging experimental viewers and such was often. It, they'd get so far, they'd advance, they seem to be working, have a few bugs, and suddenly they'd be rolled back and uh, to a completely previous version and take a completely different approach to how the code was refactored. And so I'm not entirely sure that that would have been you know, very helpful, considering that I suspect that that stuff probably still happens behind closed doors. It, it absolutely does. <laughs> um I mean that's one of the advantages of um, of uh, uh, of distributed version control is that it's really easy to do that kind of experiment um, and throw it away. Um, um, so. I, I, I'm not sure is 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 the real answer, but um, you know some of these things are things where we we get started on them and and we don't necessarily know when we start either um, everything that's that's going to be affected by the time we finish or even that we are going to finish. I mean, we do projects where we get started on something big and dramatic and we get part of the way through the process and we decide, you know what, this just isn't working out and we're just not going to do it. And we just throw the whole thing away. Um, and, and it's, it's a, you know, or, well, it's rare that we actually say we're going to throw it away. We say, well, we're going to, and, and this is the usual uh, euphemism in, in software development is we're going to, deprioritize that and put it on the back burner and maybe we'll dig it back up another day. Um, and uh, If I could just use that example. Uh, um, I guess what I'm asking for is... The, I mean, the whole simple UI, the whole basic UI viewer, I mean, that was one that got to the point of being um, out in public, but turned out it didn't achieve what we were hoping it might. And so, you know, it's kind of a dead end. So if we could 
but if we could work more collaboratively and transparently, then, for example, Linden Lab would be able to tell us, you know what, we changed our mind, we're going to go this route instead. I think if we could work together collectively, all of us, um, more transparently, it would be easier for all of us. It, um, that might be true, but you also have to understand that that adds time and cost to the project itself, right? I mean, well, if... Honestly, I can't imagine this uh, such a thing working unless you had, like, daily scrums with everybody. Um, organizing that would just seem to be way over I mean, the top. Right. I mean, as, as, a, ma as a practical matter... Um, there's a, in software development, there's always a, a huge overhead cost that rises exponentially as the number of people involved um, goes up. Right? If you add, if you if you have a three-person project, it costs you this to keep everybody, you know, square. Costs you X. And if you have a six-person project, it's like X squared. Right? Um, and and it just and it just keeps going up faster and faster, um, and uh, you know if you, <laughs> especially if you have people who who are involved some of the time and you know so on, it, it, it gets even worse, right? So uh, some of these projects, like interesting, in fact, uh, were a, a small number of people got told. Go away and see if something really much better can be achieved. And they went away and did that. And in the process, they ended up touching a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, right. Uh, they they had to do very uh, sensitive measurements of whether they were succeeding or not. And so they had to improve on the mechanisms we had for for doing that with. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not seeing any of them online, however. They've disappeared. Oh. You know what? Hmm. I do recall seeing something about a bunch of people from, uh, Battery were going to see gravity on IMAX 3D. I wonder if he <laughs> forgot and and went and joined that group. Um, which seems like a really good yeah. Friday afternoon activity to me, too. But I would there have you done go. it. Can't blame him. Um, so I guess we'll just have to take this up again next week, by which time we will have uh, an, an AIS update that's, you know, in hand. Um, People will will really be able to do it. Um, um, Baker around? No, he's not online at all. I think he's on vacation or something this week. I haven't seen him at all lately. The two he was I at the uh, server meeting yesterday. Oh, he was. All right. Well, yeah. he just hasn't been on the channels I've been in. I guess I've been kind of heads down on. A a bunch of things, so I, I, I haven't been, which is why I forgot to remind Richard that he needed to be here today. Um, yet another batch of improvements on our tools for releasing viewers. Hopefully the last batch for a while. They translated Zooey true false parameters. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, I will. All right, I've made a I've made a note to pass that on to our translator team. Um, if uh, Kitty, if you could send me a a pointer to an example in the in the integration, I'd, it would be helpful. Uh, yep, 
Yeah. I actually was uh, looking at doing a, a validator for some of our different sorts of XML, including settings files and and uh, ZUI files, and recently. And uh, if I ever finish that, there there's going to be a pretty substantial check-in to to go along with it, so that they'll all validate because um, there's a lot of stuff in them that's actually incorrect. Things like float values being assigned to integers and that sort of thing. Uh, which it turns out works because the code is tolerant, but uh, but it, things like that always signify that somebody is confused about something. Yeah, or just careless. Yeah. Um, so it looks like we all get a, a shorter meeting than we planned on. Well, the two things I wanted to bitch about, I can't bitch about. That's the only reason I came. You can't bitch about them because the wrong people are here to bitch at? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, sorry about that. You can pitch at me. I, that's what they pay me for. Uh, I don't promise I can do anything about it. Okay, well, uh... Can anybody on my team tell me if I'm forgetting to bitch about something that I can't actually bitch about? There's a bunch of things, I just can't remember them now. So, are we happy with the way that uh, group bands and uh, such are being handled? Uh, do, have we decided we like that? Well, that was one of the things I wanted to bitch about. Uh, but Baker's not here to confirm or deny our suspicions either way on how that system works. So, uh, we're probably going to have to wait until we see Baker. Unless you know Oz, uh, there was some suggestion that um, the uh, group ban was uh, viewer dependent. In other words, it was the viewer that did the uh, banning and as such then any griefer viewer can easily avoid it, just like griefer viewers can um, prevent uh, their users from being ejected from a group. Do you they... think that's true? Yeah, the the actual ban is is server side. It is okay. Right. Okay. Um, so then I have nothing to bitch about. Right. Um. I, uh, regarding the uh, contribution agreement update, um, just that I've been following on the uh, open source dev mailing list. Um, oh, yeah. I actually, uh, I just wanted to say, but um, I'm not really, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. I just think that it's so far it's kind of uh, satisfactory. I don't really have any issues to raise, which is just something nice to say for once. 
<laughs> well, I appreciate that. I really do. Um, yes, for any of you that haven't noticed, um, we have made an effort to... No, the old CAs still apply. Um, the And in fact, the, the new one is not sort of being offered yet quite. Um, what, what, what happened, for those of you who have not uh, been following it, um, is that uh, we 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 are we we acquired Desura a while ago. They had a very different they had a different contribution agreement um, and a different open source license structure. They were using GPL uh, version three, which for various reasons we didn't think was a good idea to stay with. Um, and so as we did uh, what two and a half years or so ago with the um, with the Second Life Viewer project, we're sort of trying to restart things there with a, a different structure that we think is better for both for the open source project and for the company. Um, and um, the uh, so we started rewriting the contribution agreement for that project, and we realized that we were ending up with something that was. Subtly different from, but pretty similar to what we had for the the Second Life viewer. So we decided we would go whole hog and try to just do one that covered whatever it is we want to do from now on. Um, and we kind of merged them. Um, so we have a draft out. There's a there's a pointer to it on the um, open source dev mailing list uh, from a, I guess about a week ago now. Um, or I guess it was Monday. I, I sent that, um, and uh, I've I've gotten a, a a more energetic round of comments. There were a few comments on our mailing list, um, and and a more energetic round of comments from the uh, Desura forum where I posted it. Um, I'm in the process of well, I've I've passed a big batch of comments back to the attorneys, and they're um, going through and looking at them and figuring out. Uh, well, it, we're not, uh, alas, we are not going to deal with Henry's uh, issues. Um, that's just the way it goes. Um, and, uh, we're, we're, um, so that's, that's coming. Um, it's, it's in no way incompatible with, I mean, it's a little different because it's written by different attorneys. Um, but it's it's in no way incompatible with the old contribution agreement, um, and um, anybody who likes the old one better can just and has already signed it can just stay with it. Um, once we switch, once we have the new one, that's the only one we'll want people to sign who haven't signed anything yet. Um, if anybody prefers the terms of the new one. Um, one of the things that's in it is that it's re it retroactively applies to any past contributions under previous agreements. So, um, I mean, that's one of the terms that's in it. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, no, and and the um, the uh, so I mean, if you like the new one better, you can sign the new one, then and that's the one you're operating under from the, from then on. Um, but uh, I, it, it isn't hugely different. Um, but you know, it, it's it's there, um, and we'll. I kind of hope to get this sorted and behind me again, so that I can take another two years before I have to deal with legal paperwork. Um, at least, uh, hopefully, next week. You know. If it takes longer than that, I won't be surprised. But uh, that's the way it goes. Um, just a curious question: Was there any updates on the whole um, leap motion thing with the controller? I I haven't heard any. No, uh, I mean that was actually a a spare time project that one of the in-house engineers did and never got it to the point where it was 
um, you know, kind of ready to productize. Um, the really hard part about that project is not, uh, you know, sort of connecting it as an input-output device. It's deciding what the gestures should be and what they should mean and getting that all sorted. Um, and uh, I, I think they just sort of got to the point where they said, okay, look, we can interface with this thing and we can use gestures to do things, but I think everybody looked at the problem of deciding what the gesture should be and decided to not decide. Uh, that's just anecdotal and, and my personal impression. It's certainly not a, a, you know, anything that came out in an official memo or anything. Um, so it's like trying to get everyone to agree on a interface design. Yeah. Or keyboard shortcuts. Right. <laughs> We've had both of those issues. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, you know, I've, I've actually, I don't, I've actually just decided that Snowstorm is not accepting requests for keyboard shortcuts. Period. Um, so, until somebody is willing to contribute a full-featured keyboard editor, a keyboard shortcut editor that will allow you to to comprehensively manage and and um, and and customize all keyboard shortcuts, uh, unless we're willing to take on that. No keyboard shortcut changes. Um, yeah. So, um, so I haven't heard. I, my my own personal um, take on that is that it would be most interesting to have that once you've got the Oculus Rift, right? Um, so, and of course, there are other motion detector technologies out there as well. Um, but that's just that's just me. I don't expect I would spend much time in a headset anyway. When will the lab fix the vertex buffer and get rid of deprecated user-defined names for buffers? That's a great question that I don't even pretend to understand. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my Greek dictionary. <laughs> well, I mean, I understand what the words mean. <laughs> I just don't understand what the problem is. Is this related to the fact that Shining recently um, marked a bunch of um, deprecated functionality that are moving as one fix? I, I, I have heard those guys talking about doing cleanup passes, so... Um, <laughs> so, so you may be in for another obnoxious merge, I don't know. Oh, God. I, I'm, I'm sure it won't be as bad as the last one. They haven't had enough time. Well, interest list looks uh, interesting. I've, I've heard that um, when you teleport, nothing renders. <laughs> There's no workaround. <laughs> Uh, it must render for somebody because I don't think they'd release it otherwise. <laughs> Good job. It, it will render, but then at some random point in the future of your teleporting, it will decide when you teleport back to those areas, it won't render, and then it will render when you re-log. It, it, it's, it's just wonderful in a horrible kind of way. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, and I don't. I don't mean to insult anybody. <laughs> I'm not. I'm honestly not making fun of everybody because I fully understand <laughs> interest list is complicated crap. But for the many years that interest list has been tried to improve, has it ever actually been improved? <laughs> uh, you know, that's a the the trouble is, and and I I I don't sit where I can hear those guys talking or anything like that. So I I. I don't have any particular inside knowledge, but uh, I have heard a lot of discussion uh, about this. And the, the really hard part of this is figuring out whether you've got it right or not, right? I mean, it's it's not hard to come up with anecdotal cases that that do or don't work. What's hard is to come up with a way to objectively measure um, what the situation is and whether you know, set of changes A uh, is better or worse than set of changes B. Um, wow, that is a that is an interesting pair of images. As I recall, I think some of the issues, at least in the past, when they have tried to modify those um, server side and viewer side, was uh, just uh, people certain content would break in strange ways because it was too far out of range or had a slightly different uh, prim size that now counted as something else. And as I recall, that that used to be the uh, reason why things ended up getting reverted because it was actually breaking content. But this is a while ago now. Right. Right. I don't know. I haven't seen an update lately on the status of that viewer build. So, uh, yeah, there isn't one. So, Oz, is that something that you guys are actually going to push out as an RC, like, as it is? Uh, at the moment, it is not in a state that I can tell the difference. Um, I don't know. That is, it's in the, it's in the workflow state immediately before you make that choice. Um, the two transitions out of that state are go towards being a project viewer and go towards being a a, a release candidate and I don't I don't know which button they're gonna push so uh, I can't answer that it if the situation is as bad as you guys describe it would be probably bad prob <laughs> probably <laughs> better if it wasn't an RC but uh, on the other hand I, I think there's a concern that it won't actually be well tested as a project viewer. So, um, so I don't know.
Really, does that happen even if the object is sending out uh, updates? Yes, yes, it does. It's 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 it gets lost somewhere inside the object cache and just decides to not come back. Yeah, that's marked as in progress. Somebody's working on it. So maybe that's why I haven't seen a viewer of one flavor or the other. I don't know. Kinda, I hope you write that on your resume. Okay, well, um, if there are no other topics, I apologize for not having tracked everybody down and made sure they would be here. We'll try again next Friday, same time, same place. Yay. Have a good weekend, everyone. I kind of want to go back to bed now. I, I, I got it for this. I got it for this meeting specifically. Sad thing.